so um, uh, it's really very simple to use you just download this source then once you have this source you should have this zip file this one and inside this zip file is the solution for Visual Studio 2010 and the folder for the project what you do is you uh, for example if you if you create your own project existing project for example for example let's create a new project and we'd like to use that currency text box for example Visual Basic Windows then I'll put here a uh, currency project let's create this so um, for example if uh, this is my form I'll just have to uh, add the text box here if I if I would add a normal text box basically just go to the toolbox then uh, drag some text box so uh, for a custom control you'll need to uh, add the custom control to your project for example I'll right click this project I'll open its uh, location in the Explorer so this is the solution this is the project so I will add the project for the custom control here basically this is it I'll copy this and paste it in my existing project for example so after pasting I would then copy the location then in the solution I would add a new project I uh, no add an existing project add existing uh, existing project uh, is that there so this is the uh, currency text box <coughs> so I have two projects now I'll just have to build this after building it, you can observe in the uh, and uh, after building it, I would add a reference to that project. I will double click this. Yes. Oh wait a minute! I think there's a problem with .NET. Um, this one is using .NET four. So I should uh, raise this one to .NET 4 also. So I have to go here, in the advanced compile options, and use .NET Framework 4. Yes. So now I can add a reference to the currency toolbox without problems, and. I after I go back here this thing pops up so I can finally add the custom currency toolbox so for example in order to use this I'll put two and I'll, uh, I'll show the answer in here I'll sum them up then show the answer here for example I'll name this sum then here let's name this button sum then let's text A text B then text sum for example then I just put here text sum dot text is equal to text a dot value plus text b dot value so this way the values oh no this is not c sharp so so this way since the values are decimal it can be added directly and the answer then be 
uh, converted to string and transferred as text to text sum or you can actually just uh, type here value it would still work no it, it didn't so uh, I forgot I was the one maybe so uh, you have to put their text so basically what happens is this I'd uh, put uh, 400 here 200 here and sum up we have 600 next part here is we need to uh, change the following settings so, so that so in order to change that settings I would have to click to switch view and curve form I have to change this to C in order to uh, have a currency text box and for example since I'm from the Philippines I'll use ENPH so if I run this again obviously I'd have a uh, piece and if I change this to ENUS I'd have dollars so it's uh, very simple really uh, no problems after I sum them up I have commas uh, great for accounting really so it's just a quick example since I've learned uh, this is a quick example for everybody okay hope you learned something